That's even worse than before. What the hell? <laughs> Is there a way I can revert back to before it was rooted? <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to Scratch 3D Printing. Today is the day. I'm going to be rooting the K1 Max. It's about time, honestly. It's been like over 3-4 to four months now and it's been printing really well, I'm not going to lie. I was just delaying the rooting part, but now it's time let's root this machine i might take like a couple hours to do it but for you it's just gonna only take like 10 to 20 minutes if i'm good at editing so what i'll be doing is follow this um guy gulaus whatever his name is pronounced <laughs> i'm gonna follow this guy and root the k1 max i've been watching some tutorials online and <laughs> you know what let's just get started the reason why i'm using this is that they keep updating stuff they just updated like three hours ago but on creality one they haven't touched it in five months. I'll be documenting on my whole process of building this machine. So it might not be the best, like, you know, tutorials for you to follow. It's just me trying to ruin my machine. <laughs> Learn as I do it. So I think we got the latest firmware. So I think we are completely fine with this part. Except this. We need to allow root access for the printer. So I'm going to be doing that. You go to setting and scroll down a bit. Root access information. Um, root warning, disclaimer, yes, wait 30 seconds and then click OK, 2, 1, OK, so now we can click OK, root access available, so that's the account name and password, I believe it's the same one, it's the same thing for every single printer, I got that screen, and it says you can now connect to SSH guide, it's available here, so Let's click that and open it. Make sure enable root. I did down install mobile extreme software. Many people online are doing just like in the terminal because they know what they're doing. So I'm going to follow this exact instruction because I don't want to risk it of breaking anything. And it's just way easier, right? So let's, let's do it. Okay, I got it installed. So now let's see. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Launch, then click session. Okay, got session. Then on the SSH icon. Okay, that's right here, SSH, remote host, so we're going to be putting the IP address and the root name. Okay, got the IP address for the printer, and then specifies, it says ROOT, root. Click that, click that, click OK, OK. Press accept, you install this. Yes, let's do it, accept. Okay, there we go. Password is going to be creality underscore 2023. Let's go. Okay, look at that, we got it. I hope this is in frame. Once connected on the left side part, you should have access to this file. Okay, for whatever reason, I don't have this. I don't have the files that they have here. I don't know why. Is it this thing? Oh, it's you're supposed to click that small folder. Okay, well, that took me like five minutes. Oh my gosh. We got it. We got the same thing. Let's go. Next step. I'm not quite sure what it's the next step. I, I feel like they should have put it down there to be honest. Like after you've done this, they should put like next step and you click and it will take you. But um, I guess I got to cycle through all of these. I did SSH connection. So I guess uh, let's go back here. Okay. So this is the correct place. <laughs> we connect it here. So guide here, enter the following command to install the script of the root folder. Let's copy that. Shift right click to show contacts. So paste is shift plus insert. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. Now I know something. Okay, we got that. So let's press enter and see if it works. It's connecting. Saving to installer. Install 100% to successful. Okay, nice. So and enter this command to run the script. Okay, let's copy that. Let's right click. Okay, we got it. <laughs> I don't know how we got it. Um, and then let's click enter. Downloading the URL thingy. Installation helper for Creative K1 series. Only use this script with firmware 1.3.2.1 and above. Okay, we got it. Type your choice. We got it. So let's see what we're going to do next. This menu allows you to install various useful features. Let's see what we need to download. Let's go check our printer now. Okay, let's go check our printer and see if anything's new. Nothing's new again. Okay. Okay, let's install something. So I'm gonna press one to install. And I guess I'll install Fluid, the second one, which is, I'm gonna type two at the bottom, click enter. Please install Moonraker and something first. Okay, let's do that, one. It's Python 3 by 
to install. Uh, yeah, you're, you're telling me to install it first, right? Downloading, okay. Downloading Moonraker and Nudgeon file. I don't know how you pronounce it. This is kind of terrifying to be honest. <laughs> you gotta learn so much. And I'll get back once this thing has done downloading everything. Okay, press 2, install. Fluid is open source. Yeah, you can, you can see they give you a... Whoa, that is so fast. It took like, what, 5 seconds only? So we got Clipper, or we got Fluid install, which is port 4408. Oh, no, no, why did I keep doing that? I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't want to do that again, okay. Okay, look at this. We got it. Oh my gosh. We got it. Whoa, look at that. We got Fluid for the K1 Max. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. So if you don't know, you're supposed to type it like that, okay? You're supposed to type it like that. Your printer's IP address, and then two colon, and then the port number. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. But like people say, um, you don't see your camera. You gotta go and download your camera, or you gotta go and get the camera. So let's let's do that now. But before we do that, let's see if um, we can control this. Let's press home. We can! Oh my gosh, it's starting! <gasps> Holy crap, we can control it from there now! Oh my gosh, that is so nice! We couldn't do that before with browser. Before rooting the printer, we could not use the browser to do anything. We can just watch, we cannot do anything with the browser, but now we can! Oh, that is so nice! Wow, and you can see everything from here! Oh my god! Um, so I just press pause for whatever reason and it's pausing and it's doing everything. Oh my gosh, dude. I feel like this will definitely change so much of what I wanted to do because this is a sign note. So if you don't want to watch this part, you can skip it. But before I was doing like multicolor printing or multi-filament printing and I was pausing. So if I can, you know, control the pause function from here I can set the temperature to whatever I want essentially hopefully I can figure that out maybe but usually when your K1 Max pause the temperature drops to 140 Celsius so now if I want to pause I can change the pause and make the temperature stay at around 220 or whatever temperature I'm printing so that it doesn't drop down wasting time and it's just print 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 and just color change and color change and that is gonna be so nice wow there's so many macro thingy you can do it on your k1 max now what does power even mean you can make your light dimmer or brighter one is the max but whoa before i rooted this i could not see anything so here i just <laughs> i just open reality print and as you can see here all the file is gone no records no time lapse, nothing but now i can access them here oh that is so nice man i hate this when i first got the printer all of these show up but now it just don't but whatever i got this i don't need it anymore <laughs> okay let's um install some more things let's get the camera back and yeah let's get going let's go and download some more things yeah i think i'm gonna be downloading main cell just to mess around with it number three um yes let's do it i don't know what supervisor light is not gonna do that do you know what i think i'm just gonna down everything to be honest okay let's download number five okay we got number five the next thing i'm gonna download is um number nine clipper adaptive meshing and purging i'm gonna do that yep so it's just good to have let's press yes yeah, and we are done with that. Okay, so what next thing I'm gonna be installing is nozzle cleaning fan control. What is that? Now it just allows you to control the fans during nozzle cleaning. So I guess might as well number eleven. Might as well install. Allow you to control fans during nozzle cleaning. Yes. Why not, right? Why not? Let's get the whole package. Let's get everything. Yep. Very fast. Very very fast. Fan control macro. Let's see what that is. Control chamber motherboard fan with slicer oh okay yes definitely the motherboard fan is always running so loud so i'm gonna install that fan control macro number 12 wait did it it did it oh, okay <laughs> yes let's install it install number 12 i don't know why it did that when i pressed 12 the first time 
but we got it it's very very fast these are very fast number 13 there we go we gotta wait what did it did it please install clipper g code shell command first oh oh so that's number six okay you need number six let's do number six yes install number six first and then we're gonna go and install impress shaper which is number 13 um build tension and general generate graphs yes definitely i want to see everything about this printer so that i know what to mess around with what to print mods and stuff like that z offset macros we essentially got that with the newest update so um might as well i guess useful macro number 14 Install useful macro like bed leveling and PID. We got it with the extra mode, but I'm gonna do it anyway so I can control it from the software or the browser instead of going to my printer. Did it install? Yep, install successfully. Then number 15, save the offset macro. Of course, it needs to be saved. Install that. Screw tilt adjust support. Wait a minute, I actually needed that. Let's see, let's see. Ads allow to add support to screw tilt adjust functionality i don't know let's install it let's install number 16 allows to support for screws tilt adjust yeah why not do you want to install screw tilt adjust support for k1 or k1 max k1 max enter okay okay so now hopefully we can really really level the bed now moon rigger time leaves let's install that too number 17 uh, to create time lapse, yep. Even though it has it, it's good to control it, I guess. So you can do like a very long one or a very short one or however, or however you want it to, hopefully. At this point, I might as well just install everything. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna install everything and then I will spend like hours and hours exploring what every single feature is. Hopefully in the future, I am gonna be very comfortable with all of this and I can make a video explaining every single part what it does. Not that, but these explain every single part what these does so hopefully that is coming soon if you don't want to miss it subscribe to the channel around 90 percent of you that watch the video aren't subscribed so if you forgot to do it you can press the red subscribe button below this video it's free it costs you nothing it will help me a lot thank you and let's get back to installing okay that thing is done so number 18 camera setting control let's install that yes i want to install i want to control the camera setting okay Remote access and AI detection. I'm not gonna download 19 or 20. The last thing I'm gonna do is download number 21. So that I can access from my phone app. Let's go. Press Y. And we are done with everything. So I leave this thing here and go back to my reality. I click it and it gives me this. No Moonraker connection. Please check Moonraker or stash. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reconnect. See. Okay, I have no idea what happened. I installed way too many items, so I'm gonna, you know, <laughs> fix this. Hey, there we go. You just gotta retype in the browser and it will work. Oh, look at all of these. All of these settings. The macro, <laughs> there's so, so much more macros now. Oh my gosh. MCU fan, what is that? <gasps> that's the motherboard fan. Oh, yes, that's good. I, I want to control that so much. Okay, let's go get a camera. I believe it's configuration. Nope. System. You go to setting all the way down here. Click camera. Um, I think we're supposed to add a camera. So let's add it. It's enable. Name camera. We're gonna name camera. Click add. Let's go back home. And there we go. Yes, it's working. You can see my hand. Look at that. Oh, it's only 6 FPS though. Yeah, that is pretty much it with this video i believe before this video ends i'm gonna do a bed leveling and see if the ruby printer has a better bed level let's do it i was just sitting here and was like why is it not doing anything <laughs> i clicked off for home i didn't click calibration um let's do it calibrate what that's even that's even worse than before what the hell <laughs> oh my gosh this is so no that's what it looks like before that's what it looks like but no, uh, I shouldn't, you know, shouldn't even done that, whatever. Yeah, so it's off by 0.9 now, as you can see there. Or oh, the range is, it used to be 0.3, but it's very... <laughs> uh, well, I guess I gotta print more spacer and just put the spacer in the correct 
area which is that and that i don't know why in the world is this thing so high up like what is wrong what is wrong with this spot so annoying i need to print something too so you know what? i'm just gonna print it and just leave this as is and just figure something out because if you look at the bottom here it's 2.41 in the morning, so I gotta go to bed anyway. Okay, got my two models in. Gonna select all and lay them out spacing like that. Put them to the correct orientation. Um, so I like to do the fill. The fill is like the best one for me. Just click that. And that's it. That's the only place I need support. Slice plate. Let's see. Okay, perfect generation. So that's exactly what I wanted. So now I'm gonna go to the top right here. Click print. Okay, upload and print. Let's see, upload and print. Uh, I keep getting this error. Okay, and can anybody tell me why? Can anybody tell me why I keep getting this error? I don't know what is this error even mean. I guess we can't print overland or whatever. It's after the rooted part, and it's kind of weird, to be honest. You know, you know when you print with the KO Max, it does the shake real fast, like like that. I don't remember it doing it twice. This time it did twice. And as you can see here, it's like, it's not purging over here anymore. It's purging right here. Why is that? It's purging right there and the, it's purging like a big, big villain. What? That's a big purge line. Wow. Is that new to the root of thing? Oh my God. Look at how fat it purge. <laughs> what is this purge line? It's printing okay-ish. It's not coming out the best. As you can see that, it's not coming out the best to be honest. It's like wavy. It's kind of wavy. Oh, that is so weird, but this purge line, oh my gosh. I did not know it can purge or print this fat, thick line. Wow. Is there a way you can do it normally? Okay, okay, it's... Oh my gosh, dude, it's printing so bad, look at that! Oh, it's not sticking to the bed! No! What am I gonna do now? Damn it. I can control the Z offsets here, so let's do that. I, I don't know. The air up doesn't mean the bed goes up or goes down, whatever, I don't know. Let's just click that a couple of times. And let's see. Oh my god, it's still printing really, really badly. Um, let's do a point that, let's do that, make it go up, make it go up, um, okay, it's printing really badly, so I, I think it's this, I think it's the down arrow, not the up arrow, okay, okay, let's see, why is it still printing so bad? Okay, it's a lot better now. Okay, so yeah. Okay, it's the down arrow. The down arrow makes the bed go up. The up arrow makes the bed go just down. Which is weird, I guess. But it works. But that is such a bad print. Ugh. Is there a way I can revert back to before it was rooted? <laughs> I don't know, but well, I guess that's it. Um, I'll do more updates video with this in the future. And yeah. Goodbye everybody, goodbye. We cannot still print with Orga Slicer. I'm gonna figure that out really soon now. But we gotta root it and the bad leveling is way worse. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some more tweaking with this and yeah, but that's it. I rooted my K1 Max finally, right? I kinda feel bad now because the bad leveling is so bad and there's just so many things I gotta mess with. But that's the point of making YouTube videos and you guys that's the point of owning a 3D printer that came like this right but it's still good anyway goodbye everybody and i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel because i'm gonna be explaining more of the rooting process or more of the things that i'm gonna be finding in this printer and i'm gonna try to make orca slicer work just print over just send the print over i don't want to do on the usd usb thumb drive but anyway i'll see you guys in the next video as always keep on printing